Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. Okay, so this video is prepared for the discussion of Microsoft Access Lab Test February 2022. Okay, so let's read the instruction together. Follow the instruction below. Number one, create table for passengers. Create the field name as shown below. You are required to have at least five passengers with their information included in your customer table. Please replace the passenger ID, minimum four characters but not more than six, and create the passenger name, state, contact number and email using your own idea. So passenger table field names consist of pass ID, pa uh, passenger name, passenger state, passenger contact number and passenger email. Okay, so let us create the table first. So when you open database software, which is Microsoft Access, you will have this interface. Okay. All right, so let's change the view of this table one into design view. Okay, so the table name is passenger. Okay, all right. Okay, so the first um, record here, so the first field name here is uh, usually for the primary key. Okay, usually for the primary key, you can see the key here. Okay, so let's uh, set this into first ID. Okay, so is it an auto number? Depends, okay, since you're required to create. So I prefer you to change to maybe a short text. Okay, and then pass name. Okay, short text. Name usually uh, we use long text. Okay, and then pass state. This one we can use short text. Okay, and then pass word. Okay, we ask short text. And then pass email. This one also leave it as uh, short text, okay? Right, that's it. Okay, and then change the view to data sheet view. Okay, you're required to save, okay, click yes. Okay, so now you have uh, the field for pass ID, name, state, phone, and email. Okay, and then create the form. Okay, to enter the data into the table, we need to use the form. You may enter the data here, but it would be nicer if you create the form. And uh, instruction number two also require you to create form for passenger. So let's create form for this table, okay, to enter the data. So form, create, and then you click here form. Okay, so there's a form created for you, okay, where all uh, fields appear here, okay, to record, right, so change the view to form view, okay, and then we are required to uh, replace the passenger ID with a minimum four character. So let's stick to this one, except that we have four character here. So A, I'm going to change to A, 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 A. Okay, next, the name is Okay, finish. Okay, 
So once we finish, create um, or enter the data into the table, you go back to the table and then you click refresh, okay, to see whether or not, okay, all the data, okay, have been entered into the table. All right, so settle with this one. Okay, so next, let's move to the next uh, instruction, number three. Create table reservation. Create the field name as shown below and fill in their property as you need them to store your passenger reservation data for the month of December 2021. Okay, so let's create another table. So create table. Okay, change the view to design view. Save as a reservation. Okay. Okay, so the first, uh, the primary key for reservation table is REST ID, reservation ID. Okay, and then let's change this one to short text. Okay, because why? Even though it appear here as number, but there's a zero zero in front of the number, which may not appear if you choose data type number. Okay, all right, and then the next one, reservation ID. Let's change to date. Okay, is there any format that you want to use? So you may choose from here. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, this one, 12th November, 12th November this week. Okay, right, and then ticket number, okay, leave it as short text, class ID. So class ID will follow, class ID here, if you notice, is similar data as per the first table, passenger table. So Meaning, uh, the primary key in passenger table, which is pass ID, become the foreign key in the reservation table. It's a pass ID. So, make sure that the data type here is the same. Okay. So, you make sure that it is the same. So, let's save the form first before it uh, disappears. Okay. And I want to close this one. Right. So, I want to check whether um, I enter the data type correctly or not for class ID. So class ID here, I choose short text. So here also, I will choose short text. Okay, and then next flight number. You okay, leave it as short text and then T total. This one, I will use data type currency. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, okay, then uh, maybe we need to create another form. Okay, so create form for reservation. Okay, let's uh, save this one first and then change the view to data sheet view. Okay, and then we need to create form for reservation. Okay, change to form view. Don't forget to save this one. Reservation form. Okay, all right. Okay, and then let's enter the data okay, from the table here. Plus the additional, uh, two additional customer here. Okay, so reservation ID is 001. Okay. P -M okay, AA just now we changed to uh, AA, AA. Okay, flight number and page. 
<laughs> okay, finish. Okay, let's uh, refresh our reservation table. Okay, so everything appear here. Okay, so you can check again whether you have entered the data correctly or not. Okay, up to zero Z reservation ID zero zero eight. Okay, oops, seven eight nine two ten. A D B E D E C N D. Okay, so let's quickly check our data. Okay, everything looks uh, good. So let's proceed to the next instruction, which is okay. So we have answered. Uh, we have uh, need uh, instruction number four, number five. Create query. Okay, so create query for. Okay, create query for passenger KL. Create a query that display the information of passenger from Kuala Lumpur from passenger Devil. Okay, create query that display the information of passenger from Kuala Lumpur from passenger Devil. Okay, so let's create query. Again, you go to query. Okay, you click query design. Okay, and then you click passenger here. Okay, so what is it uh, that is needed here? Create query that display the information of passenger from Kuala Lumpur. Okay, so pass ID, pass name, okay, uh, the state, okay, state, however, the criteria is only for Kuala Lumpur. Okay, and then next, phone and email. Okay, no spare other instructions, so let's run this query. So there's only one which is Luna Maya. Okay, so let's save the query as passenger scale. Okay, query number two. Create query reservation AF 151221. Create a query that display all the fields from reservation table for reservation on and after 15 December 2021. Okay, so let's create query from the reservation display all field okay, so the id the date the ticket number pass id flight number and also purchase order okay but there's a specific instruction for the specific instruction for the create query for reservation on and after so reservation Okay, this one the criteria reservation date. Create a query that display all the fields from the reservation table for the reservation on and after 15 December 2021. So between 15 December 2021 and reservation on and after. Okay, so on and after meaning. So let's see whether I have entered the criteria correctly or not by clicking here right. at the comma with the preceding value or identifier. So I have entered this one incorrectly. Okay, so let's look at um, the note. Okay, for correct uh, comparison operator. Okay, this one. Okay, less than or equal to greater than. Okay, so I have put this wrongly. More than or equal to. Okay, let's try again. Run. Yes. Okay, so we are able to run. So reservation date. Okay, for uh, 15 onwards. Okay, 15 and onwards. All right. So let's save this one as reservation after 15. Save. <laughs> Reservation after 15 December 2021. Okay. Okay, next. 
next query is create query reservation total. Create a query that only display pass ID, pass name, pass date, pass phone, rest ID, rest date, flight number, P total of the customer with the P total between 2000 and 5000. So here, if you identify the field required here, comes from two tables. So before we proceed with uh, creating the query for uh, instruction number seven, let's create the relationship first. Okay, it up is two relationship between these two tables, center and reservation okay then we create the relationship so create new okay passenger okay and then reservation so passenger passenger id in passenger level is the warranty in the reservation level we are referring to the same thing here okay create okay so set up don't forget to save it's safe okay close okay Right, then we create the query. We create query from this two table. Okay, create query from this two table that contain all of this. Okay, from table passenger. So I need the pass ID. Here we need the name, uh, state, phone. Okay, that's it. From the email. And then uh, the reservation ID, reservation date, flight number, and P total, purchase total. But purchase total, the criteria is between between two thousand and five thousand. Okay, between two thousand and five thousand. Okay, that's it. So that's right. Okay, so we have data for passenger with a purchase total between 2000 and 5000. Okay, that's it. Right, so let's save this one. Save as a reservation total. Okay, right. Okay, next. Um, reservation safety. Okay, create a query that only display pass ID, pass name, reservation ID, reservation date, and flight number of passenger. Who made the reservation on the same day in ascending order? Okay, order of the same day in ascending order. So here, the thing is, you need to first find out from the table reservation here who made um, the reservation on the same day. Okay, if uh, the table is very, very long, meaning that the, the database is large, okay, it could be uh, difficult for you to uh, go through the table to identify the uh, whoever that book on the same date okay all right so what you can do is okay so what you can do is actually first you create a query okay to find the duplicates okay to find the duplicates all right so how to do that you go to create okay and then instead of you choose query design you choose query wizard okay you choose query wizard find duplicates query wizard and then you click okay okay which one that we want to find duplicates a reservation which is the reservation date. Okay, next, duplicate value field here. Okay, this is the only duplicate that we want to find out. Right, next, ada tak yang sama. Okay, and then additional query field. Okay, we may choose all. Okay, click next. All right, so view the result finish. So I leave it as reservation. Find duplicate for reservation date. Okay, so finish. So we have a query, okay, a special query for find duplicates for reservation date. Okay. Am I entering the data correctly now? Uh, 8 and 7. Is it on the same date? This is not on the same date. Okay, let's correct this one. Uh, 7. Go to reservation here. Okay, number 7. Number 7. Record number 7. Okay, open. Reservation form. Okay, this one should be the theater of December. Sorry. Now that. Go refresh. Okay. Refresh. okay, and then we need to refresh our uh, duplicates. Okay, all right. So we find duplicates here. Okay, uh, there are uh, there are two uh, reservation on fifth of December here. Okay, all right. So first you find duplicates. Okay, and then the next one you create the query. Okay, 
the theory for the reservation of same date since we need to combine the information from two different tables. Okay, so create query using theory design here. Okay, so first we are going to take the passenger table, information from passenger table, and then we are going to take the information from query find duplicates here. Okay, all right. Okay, so next is to create the query as required here. Okay, from uh, this table here, yeah, from passenger table, we need the ID and also the name. Okay, one from the, um, the ticket table here. Okay, from the ticket table here, I need the reservation ID. Okay, and then I need the reservation date. Okay, and then the flight number. Okay, the flight, the flight number. Okay, um, in ascending order, display pass ID name in ascending order. So which one should be in assembly order? So let's assume here the, uh, the pass ID maybe. Reservation in assembly order. Oh, passenger who made the reservation. Okay, so let's uh, choose pass ID, software assembly. Okay, so click run. Okay, so now you have uh, two person here, two passenger here, book on the same date or make a reservation on the same date with the, the applied number here okay so let's say this one as reservation and same okay okay right and then the last one is to create query flight mh9 okay create query design okay create a query that only display pass id pass name so this is from passenger table Okay, and then ID date flight number from reservation table. Okay, right, so we have uh, selected the table. But uh, with uh, flight number starting at page 9 and sort the name of passenger in descending order. Okay, so let's do that. So number one is the pass ID and then the name, the reservation ID. Okay, and then date and flight number. Okay, the criteria is, let's see, do we have the criteria here? Okay, the criteria given here is uh, limited, but you can have more criteria if you go to this website. Okay, if you search for examples of a uh, query in SS, okay, examples of query criteria. So what we want to find out is uh, to find uh, the flight number that started with, okay, begin with specified string, for example, like you. Okay, so what we want to find out here is like okay, MH9, okay, with asterisk regardless of the uh, number okay after night right so like mh9 that is how you create the criteria okay so you may refer to this uh, website for more um, criteria okay for more um, the criteria that you can use uh, with the different types of data okay so let's run the query okay so now um, all the flight number will be listed down here without the need for you to identify uh, MH9 and what is the next number, okay? All right, so uh, this query will automatically identify for you. So save as flight MH9. Okay, all right. Okay, so settle, okay, for all the query. And then generate report from a reservation P total. So let's go here. Reservation P total, create report. Okay, view report view. Okay, once you're happy, you can leave it as it is. If you're not happy, you can always change the change the design, change the layout, and so on. Okay, that's um try MH. Save this one first. Okay, try MH. Create report. Okay, and don't forget to save. All right, we 
because there's no specific uh, instruction. Okay, so I leave it uh, this one as it is. Okay. Okay, so you have finished uh, everything. Okay, for uh, Microsoft Access uh, lab test from uh, February 2022. Okay, All right, so hopefully this will help you. Okay, as a practice, okay, to prepare for your lab test. Thank you.